Good day YouTube. Today I'm doing just a bit of a quick fun comparison video between Fedora 36 on the left hand side here versus OpenSUSE uh, version 2022. So this is the, the rolling release edition also known as Tumbleweed as we can see there. Now both of these are actually running the KDE Plasma Desktop environment so they do make for a good comparison there. But uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll have a look here. So I do like they're both customized with the Plasma Desktop environment here. We can see we've got the little F for the startup menu and the little uh, Gecko for the OpenSUSE, the uh, the mascot of sorts there. Uh, we can see that uh, Fedora is employing the nice dark mode, whereas OpenSUSE is a little bit more light mode there. Slightly different uh, icon sets there as well, but they do the same basic thing here for the KDE Plasma Desktop environment. So we can see the education, the games, the graphics, the internet uh, uh, categorization here for each of the apps there. Uh, if we take a quick look at the file managers, you will see that we are actually running the the, the Dolphin file manager, which is the de facto standard for for pretty much all KDE Plasma desktop environments there. This is almost identical, not quite, but get in there. So I just like to right click and uh, open a terminal and that keeps me happiest there. Next up, we'll look at the, uh, the back end, just a smidge here, see what's going on. So on the left hand side here, we've got the 5.17 kernel. So Fedora does like to go with the latest and greatest with what they do. Of course, Fedora is the, what we call the upstream for what will one day become the Red Hat Enterprise Linux. And on the right hand side, we've uh, got the 5.16 kernel for OpenSUSE. So much for muchness, really, really close there. So they both like to be a little bit bleeding edge, you could say there. Uh, we'll have a look at, uh, so we can see we've got the Plasma desktop environment for each of these, almost identical in version in there as well. So not a great deal of difference. Last but not least, uh, let's have a look at the CPU and RAM usage on boot up. So the, uh, the CPU is pretty much idle enough for both of them. Now this is where it really changes and it's quite odd because we're running with the same kernels and the same front end desktop environments, but Fedora uses about 1.2 gigabytes of RAM on boot up, which is just massive. Whereas OpenSUSE uses about 584, nearly 600 megabytes of RAM on boot up. So effectively half the amount of RAM for OpenSUSE as opposed to uh, Fedora. It's it's as if Fedora just never seems to optimize uh, on boot up their, their RAM usage. So I'm never uh, the biggest fan, unfortunately, there. I did try to restart uh, Fedora and apply some updates, restart it uh, maybe two or three times, and I still get roughly around this figure so it's a bit of a shame with uh, how fed Fedora is uh, with its RAM utilization. Uh, long story short you should probably just look to uh, if you've got an old netbook, notebook, laptop, uh, old desktop PC even then you probably want to look at something more along the lines of OpenSUSE but certainly not Fedora. Well, that's pretty much it guys so thanks for watching please leave a comment subscribe hit that like button and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.